Uh, <clears throat> someone's asking, um, why are people on Facebook saying 0314 to S4s blow up? Well, that's a good question. We'd like to know that as well. Yeah, um, we have a lot of tuned S4s. So. Yeah, so we've we've seen uh, this thread in, in one of the BA groups, and we've responded to it. Um, we, we take the accusation or reality of, of our tune damaging someone's motor very seriously. We always have. Um, what, what's happening is, you know, the, the fastest cars are running 034 tunes, the world record cars, and then subsequent, you know, cars are backing up the world record. Um, and so we have a lot of people going really fast, pushing this platform really hard. And, um, you know, so uh, people want to go the fastest, but at some point you start reaching limits. Uh, these cars, many of them are older and, and have um, worn components. So in, invariably, are people's engines failing with our tune? Yes. Uh, were those people wearing shoes when the failures happened? Yes. Are people's shoes blowing up uh, motors? No. So, you know, there, there's some loose correlations being made, and I think a lot of it's just trolling. Um, we are, are working hard to, to talk to anyone who's had a, an engine-related problem who run our tunes and evaluate uh, their experience and, and what happened. Yep. We're finding that, you know, so far, anyone uh, that we've been able to speak to who has either reached out to us or we've heard and we've reached out to them have not had uh, engine failures related to tuning. Yeah, there's there's so many things. I mean, we're pushing, you know, almost double the power through these motors. Um, it, it's your your margin for error and what it can tolerate for for aging components or, or any kind of, you know, outside the margins. Um, you know, hardware, it, it just gets thinner and thinner the more power you make, yeah, and, I mean, depending what, on, on, you know, just so many factors outside of our control. Well, uh, one, one, well, there's, there's, there's wearables, yeah, there's, 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 there's lots of unseen potential um, issues, no matter how well you maintain your car, no matter how um, meticulous you can be about things. There's stuff inside the, inside the manifolds, inside the motor, um, you know, intercooler cores have been known to come apart in these. You've got um, you know, just a myriad of things that are not necessarily anything to do with maintenance, but it's something that, you know, you should probably start looking at as the motors yeah. age. So, I mean, there are, <clears throat> there are, uh, factory B5 S4 that are having these failures. B8 does S4s. that, what did I say? B5. Oh, B8 S4s that are having these failures. Um, does that mean that the factory ECU tuning is causing those failures? Right. No. I mean, so there, there's, there's just, you know, I don't know what the motivation is behind some of the people that are trying to stir this drama. Mm -hmm. There hasn't been uh, anything of substance to, to show or connect us to that. Um, the good news is a lot of people are running our tunes um, and a lot of people are going really fast. And, and what we're starting to see, and we discussed this well, about and, a month and, ago. And reliably going really fast. Yeah, yeah, That's... very reliably. Like going, going to the track and doing 10, 20, 30, you know, 11s, low 11s poles, you know, that, that's, that's impressive that you can do and, that. And we were there, you know, two weeks, three weeks ago, we were there, you know, I think we did mm -hmm. 20, 30 passes or 20, yeah. 20 some passes, just back to back to back to, uh, you know, yeah. you know, with, with way higher launch, launch RPMs and whatnot than most are running just because we're, you know, we're doing a bunch of media for it. Um, no hiccups, no issues yeah. uh, at and all. Then, and then the, the biggest issue that, that, you know, we're seeing that, that we'd like to address is that, you know, our tunes are, are sold with a certain set of uh, modification and specifications, right? So our, our given stage tune is, has a set of required or recommended, yep. you know, they're not recommended, they're required products. Um, but if we sell a, a tune that's for a 190 pulley and you run a 207 with a ported supercharger, you're going to make a lot more power. There's no question about it. But at some point, you're, you're, one, going outside the limits of what we've deemed safe, tested, and engineered. And two, you're, you're going closer and closer to, to the limits of what the motor is capable of. Um, you know, we have, we have customers putting down, what, 450, 500 wheel? That's a 540 wheel. I mean, that's crazy on a stock motor that came from the factory with less than 350, you know. So people are, are doing like more than double at the crank power. Um, you know, people are going to lift the heads. They're going to bend rungs. Um, it's starting to happen. 
So I, I would say for anyone out there who's concerned about tunes blowing up motors, when a tune blows up a motor, typically, almost always, the thing that happens is either the piston ring lands melt or the valves melt or break or you melt spark plugs, right? So this is related to uh, a, a less than optimal level of timing. Yeah, it's usually, it's it's usually an, an advance issue, like an ignition advance or a, sure. or Pre -detonation. a, you know, a, um, a fueling target issue where you're running the motor really lean for some reason deliberately. Yeah. Um, and then the, another thing a lot of people are chiming in on that don't really have a grasp of how these things work, um, I've seen people say, uh, if you have an upgraded throttle body, you're, you don't have a rev limiter anymore. The engine can rev to the moon. That was, that was coming up several times in some How episodes. would that be? The, the, there's um, assumptions, mm -hmm. assumptions, yeah, there's assumptions that uh, uh, we turn off, or the, you know, all the tuners turn off all the safeties and all the, the, um, the, the, the fail safes of the factory ECU. And I mean, we don't turn off any of them. Um, so in I'm fact, not, in fact, we go through a lot of effort to ensure that they're updated and continue yeah. to be and, and, valid and, and functional you know, for the new updated modifications. Correct. Correct. Um, you know, to, to, to the point where, you know, people get frustrated with us because our, you know, tune might pop an EPC light more than some other tunes. That's because we keep those, those mythical right. checks. But, but if those, that doesn't those, come on, then the safety feature is not working. Right. Right. So, yeah. uh, you know, if you have a question about what safety nets are there, what we, how are, how we tune things, you know, specifically, feel free to ask. Um, you know, you can also see it in all of our data. We offer open data logging solutions for all of our, you know, anybody on our software. Um, so yeah, no, all the safety measures are there. We 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 yeah. do everything we can to to keep these as, uh, uh, you know, robust and OEM like tuned as possible. But you know, there's there's yeah. there's just stuff that. You know, no ECU in the world could, could necessarily account for or take care of. And then there's there's other things where we'll get, you know, reports from people. It's like, yeah, my car's throwing an EPC light and, you know, they're just like trying to drive through it and they're continuing to hammer on the thing. Or they're, you know, they're getting these misfires and they're just, you know, continuing to try and like eke everything out of the car and just drive on to it through it. And, you know, you need, you got to step back and figure out the issue. There's, there's, yeah. there's something, um, something more going on that we need to, you know, we can help you address. We, we need yeah. to get the data around it, and, you know, take your time, start, you know, step back and, you know, yeah. we'll help you get it sorted out. So I, I, I'll, I'll just, I'll just finish with if, if you see someone saying this, ask them, ask them for more information uh, because we'd certainly like to see it. Yeah. Another thing that was popping <laughs> we, up we was, to was that we were, we were, uh, our latest tunes are much more aggressive for on our, on fueling on 93, which is, they're not. At they're all. not. That fueling hasn't changed in years now. Yeah. Um, there's nothing. There's nothing in the fueling that needed to change. No. Well, and, and I don't think there's like there's no such thing as aggressive in tuning. I mean, you, there's certain kinds of risks you can take, right. uh, which we don't. We don't ever take risks with our production tunes. Um, if we were at an event trying to win a dyno, um, you know, competition, we might get aggressive. Uh, you know, whatever that means. Whatever means. But on a production tune, there's no such thing as aggressive. There's there's an optimized calibration that gets the most power with with the least uh, chance of failure. Yeah. And that's what we're always targeting. So, uh, anyways, a ask for evidence. If someone says that, um, if someone claims they blew their motor uh, on our tuning, please tell them to contact us because we'd love to talk. We to have them. yeah, we have to date had zero correlation of a yeah, of credible a, anything yeah a, a, of any of these motors that that supposedly have gone on our software that that actually links back to anything yeah. to do with any yeah. you know, software you know core soft, software issue and you know we've got thousands of people running the software so it's but, but i think what we've seen in these threads is you know nobody has been able to prove any or, or provide any substantive information on what supposedly happened or blew yeah. or whatever and um, you know, there's, there are some, some guys out there that are pushing these tunes really hard that are experiencing various failures. And I think it's more just trolling saying so-and-so had engine failure and they were running your tuning. So your tune blows out motors, which is yeah. just, you know, not good logic at all. So, right. Yeah. I, and, and yeah, unless we have any information or, or, or even, you know, the, these cars are getting older. You've got to maintain and stay ahead of some stuff. Yeah, I, so I, just, I want to be careful though. We're not. We're never going to blame a bad tune on old cars. No, no, yeah. no, no. Uh, it's more just a, a any any car that comes to the territory. You know, you just it's it's a you know maintenance and a and yeah. Un unfortunately, though, so many other tuners use that excuse of oh, you know, 
you, you know, so, someone has a problem with the product and they say, oh, your car is old. You yeah, know, that's no, not no, what there's we're no, doing there's no, there's no reason you can't run these. That's not what we're doing. On, on, yeah. on these. It's more just a, you know, take a look and inspect some things, you know, that, you know, as these cars age, it's going to yeah. be a common thing. And there, there's, on, there's certainly, an we, we can, we can do more to educate people on what to look for, mm-hmm. but it, I don't care if your motor has 10,000 miles on it or 200,000 right. miles. Right. If the ring be... lands are melted and your valves break in half, that's not because of the motor's age. That's because you had too high of a combustion chamber and the tune should have shut things down far before then. Right. And, and that's what our tuning will do. Uh, to a degree, but you have to be within the specification. So if you're running three extra pounds of boost than we engineered it for, right? We we you know it's going to run great. And you'll you'll make power, but we we can't guarantee that's going to be as safe as something that we would release. Yep. So, yep. Um, you know it's it's you know I don't know. You could you could go buy a Ford Raptor. It doesn't mean you can jump it you know thirty feet in the air. And there's lots of videos you can, online you of people can. doing that. It's the landing yeah. that gets you. So, you know, just because you can do something doesn't mean that's what the thing was designed for. And uh, we, we are very extremely confident that if someone buys our tune and they have all the right parts and, and they, they run it with all our specifications, it will be extremely fast, extremely reliable, and they will not have any of these type of failures, barring the potential OEM yep. aging failure that is inevitably going to happen.